Look, here's some ASMR. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video on Planetoid. And in today's video, I will be showing some die cuts. I will be doing a summer die cut collection, just showcasing them, giving you any ideas if you're looking for something. Feel like I should have did this earlier, but that's okay. I still want to just do it, and I'll try to do fall at a good time so that, you know, people can order if they want to. But then again, I feel like I should be doing fall now. I'm going to figure it out, but <laughs> today... It's going to be just summer die cuts, but I want to show you this basket because this is where I keep my die cuts and I'm running out of room and I'm not sure what to do with them. I don't feel like buying the, you know, magnetic, whatever, you know, they may be great, but I don't want to add another book and stuff to my room because I got so much stuff. So I just been putting it in these baskets, but like I said, I'm running out of room. Like, I don't know. But yeah, I have different kinds of die cuts. Most of them are purchased from Amazon. Some of them are purchased from scrapbook.com. And I just want to show you where I store them. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the summer die cuts. So see, it ain't too much, but it's good enough. And some of these die cuts, I can show you an example of how I used it. But many of the other die cuts, I won't be able to because I haven't gotten a chance to use them yet. Or I did do like a card video showcasing the cards that I made or whatever. I'll have to attach it at the end. I'll put my card making playlist at the end of this video. So you will be able to see some other die cuts, but not all of them. So I'm just telling you. Also, someone might need to help me figure out this Amazon storefront thing because I would like to put it all in one place of where I got it from so people could just access it and see it. Versus trying to take the time to get all the links and put it in the description. It just sounds like a lot. So I need to figure out this Amazon storefront thing. So I'm saying all this to say, if you see one for a fact, you're like, oh, I want this one. Let me know and I'll just like give you the link or something until I figure out how to mass link a whole bunch of stuff without it being a lot of work. So I just wanted to say that. Also, some of these die cuts might be year round, but can be used in the summer. So I included them in the list. I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top of the stack. Honestly, I didn't format this video, so I don't know if I should take them out and show you. I think I'm gonna just do that. So this is a party birthday hat and I did do a card with that. And it's a shaker. So if you wanna use it as a shaker, you can. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. I don't think I have, actually, I might. Let me go see, I might have it actually. I actually do have it. Sometimes I will keep certain designs like you'll see later in the video, like this was on a card and I was getting ready to throw the card away, but I really liked it and wanted to keep it and use it in another one again. So I was able to just, you know, peel it off or cut it off and keep it. So this is how it looks as a shaker. And then if you want to, you can add, you know, the thing at the top of that birthday hats half or whatever but i just did like a puff ball one of those fuzzy puff balls you know i try to be creative but that's how that looks if you want an idea so super cute i haven't used all the designs oh my gosh i just used you know the simple ones but this is really cute oh by the way before i forget i use a big shot Sizzix switch plus i think that's what it's called I have a video on that. I can link it at the end. But that's what I used to cut my die cuts before I forget to tell you. So I used that machine to cut my die cuts. But there are plenty of other machines that are also cheaper because that machine is kind of pricey low key. It's, it's not cheap, but it's worth it. Okay, so this one right here. Oh my God, so cute. Let me move these out the way. So this one right here, I actually do have an example I can show you guys. I'm so excited, it's so cute. So this is watermelon and then you got some ants, which is really cute. And I'm gonna scoot that over because the main attraction is this, this is so cute. So this is an ice cream cone, it's shaped like a heart. You got the sprinkles and a little waffle cone. 
And the example that I used it for was this card. So this is how it would come out if you use these die cuts. I use um, Clout Whip to make texture at the ice cream. So it kind of looks like ice cream. It's, it's really, really cute. And then I did like foam sheets for like the cone or whatever. I just like adding different texture. I also did foam sheets for the sprinkles too. And this is supposed to be mint chocolate chip ice cream because fun fact, that is my favorite flavor, mint chocolate chip. So I wanted to do something with that. Also, I had leftover clout paste. That's what is used, it's clout paste. I mixed it in some green and some glitter and then it came out like this. And I said, oh, that looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Let me do something with that. So that's what this is, how adorable, but it works really good. So far, all of the die cuts that I have used, I have not had any issues with them. Once again though, it could be the machine I'm using, I'm not sure. But so far, all the die cuts, I really like them and they cut you know, really good, no issues. But yeah, this one is so cute. And then this one is just a watermelon. I do have ants, but this is my planner and my planner is on the other side of the room, which I'm not walking to go get, so. But you know how they look, they're, they're just ants. The next die cut that I'm gonna show, this is from 4th of July. So how cute are these? It's a lot going on, but this is from 4th of July. This is how the die cuts look. And the example I have of this one is this card that I made. And I actually do have a video on my channel of me constructing this card. So once again, I will link my playlist at the end of this video so you can check out all my card making videos. I'm getting a lot better with thinking of ideas for cards and making them look good. Now, of course, the die cuts bring it together, I know, but you still have to pick the colors and put it together. So this is what I came out with. It came out really good. I like it. And actually, a lot of other people liked it too. So it's really good. I like these. In reality, it was supposed to be a shaker. So if you want to make it a shaker, you can make it a shaker. Most of the die cuts that I'm going to show you today are shaker die cuts because I'm addicted to glitter and shakers. They're just so cute to shake around, move around, and they add some kind of fun dimension to your card. You could just give a paper card or you could give a shaker card. Like, come on. It's so cute. Oh, and by the way, I, you probably could tell, but I'm keeping them in the bags that they came in. So the die cuts that I'm showing, most of them, like 99%, come in this respective bag that it got packaged in. And that's how I just keep up with them. And now you can actually see the brand. This is the brand I get most of my die cuts from, but all of the die cuts I'm showing you are not from this brand. So if you wanna look them up, you can check them out on Amazon. This video, by the way, is not sponsored. I bought all this stuff. I just wanted to show it and give some inspiration. I wish it was sponsored. Please sponsor me. That'll be great. <laughs> because when I tell you I'm always showing stuff from Amazon and all these places, oh, ain't nobody seen me yet. <laughs> this one, actually, I'm not going to even take this out the pack because you can kind of see it really well. But this is a hot air balloon, of course. And I consider this one a year round one. You could probably use it anytime. But I would use it in the summertime and I don't know if I'm doing a card on this or not. I got to go back and look at my schedule, but some of the die cuts you see will be shown, but it's going to be shown at a later date. So you'll see this video first, but yeah, this is a hot air balloon. I don't have an example, but really cute. And I think it's going to come out awesome. Y'all, I love the bag. More die cuts need to come in this kind of bag. This is a nice bag. And I don't know if this is the brand, but here it is, you know. I like this bag. So these are just Hello Spring, Hello Winter, Hello Summer, Hello Fall die cuts. You got the outline and everything. And I will show you an example. Actually, I'm gonna show you two die cuts and then I can show an example. And this is the one I used. I'm gonna show this other die cut too because the card, I use multiple die cuts, the one I want to show you. So this is also a sun. Now, this is from Lawn Fawn. So let me actually, let's do it in a way where it's clear. These are from Amazon. And this is from Lawn Fawn. And it's just sun. That's it. It's just sun die cuts. It could be a shaker or not. And I do have an example card. And actually, I accidentally bought two. Well, it wasn't an accident, but like, 
I bought this one thinking it was gonna come with both signs and it didn't come with both signs. So then I had to go back to another website because Amazon was sold out. Oh wait, let me start over. Yeah, yeah, Amazon was sold out because that's where I got this one on Amazon. I had to go to another website, scrapbook.com and get like a full set. So yeah. <laughs> and here's the card for an example. So the Hello Summer die cut these this is how it looks and then the sun you can do it any way you want there's so many ways you could dress up the sun but this is the way i wanted to do it super cute i do have this video on my channel of me putting this together and actually it's one of my favorite cards it is so adorable and yes it does come with a cute little face y'all these right here these are sturdy like okay look at this one you could tell like see how i could bend that right look it's harder to bend. It can still bend, but it's harder to bend. And then when I had to pull the die cut apart, you know how you could just turn it and twist it and it'll break apart? I had to get pliers for this. Like these are some thick, sturdy die cuts. I like lawn fun die cuts. Look, here's some ASMR. Okay, so this one is rainbow. I like this one a lot. This was actually before I went down the rabbit hole of die cuts, one of the first die cuts that I purchased. It can be a shaker, it looks really good. Actually, um, you know, I don't think I have an example near me, but I did do a planner spread, y'all, where it was like half and half rainbow. It was so cute, it, it ate, okay? The spread was so cute. If I can find it, I'll post a picture, but the clouds, however, I could show an example. So the clouds, they just look like that. They look really good. And I use foam sheets. So foam sheets are great to use when you're doing like die cuts. I think it adds dimension and it makes doing shakers so much easier. All of this is held together by foam sheets. The foam tape get on my nerves. Yeah, so this is super cute. I'm actually debating if, because I need to change the outfit on my micro planner. I thought about doing a rainbow theme. So I'm like, should I add a rainbow shaker to the cover? Like, that'll be so fun. And then it comes with a banner. So I'm like, yes. I hope these shakers and die cuts are giving you ideas because I got even more ideas just looking back at them. This one right here is just a baseball cap. It can be a shaker. I won't take this one out because I think you can see it kind of well, but it's just a baseball cap Come in two sizes. You can get the big one or the small one. And yeah, that's it. I got it because I thought it was summery. The sun, people do wear a lot of caps, but people can wear caps year round. Either way, this is really cute. I think this will be perfect for like a baseball spread or something like a card really adorable okay this is cute I'll, oh have i opened this one? Oh, i never opened this one okay let me take this one out Ooh. okay this one is a kite clearly but yeah i thought this would be fun to use in the summer but it could be used any part of the year to be honest like i think i might maybe just do this in the fall because i think i've already filled my summer card quota when i was scheduling and planning out my videos ahead of time so I don't know yet, I'm debating. I don't think I wrote this one down, but yeah. This is cute. It could be a shaker too, if you want it to be a shaker. And y'all, all I did was like literally go on Amazon and look up shaker die cuts. And if you wanna be more specific, summer shaker die cuts. And I do it for every season. This here, I'll keep it in here. We can all see it. It's a gnome. I think gnomes could be used in any part of the year. I'm not sure if I'm using it this summer, but if I do, it's gonna be summery with a bee or something just really cute. I don't know yet, but I have ideas. This is a gnome, it's so adorable. And the hat can be a shaker. I don't know about the nose. It probably could be a shaker too, but I know when they advertised it, the hat was the shaker part. So how cute is this? I got a bee. Hopefully y'all could see that well. I'm not gonna take it out the pack. I'm only taking the ones out of the pack where I feel like it's a lot going on or you can't really see it well, but we can all see this is a bee and it's a shaker bee, so it can be a shaker. I think this is one of the ones I scheduled to do this summer, so I can't wait. This one here is just ice cream popsicle 
Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm doing this one. I wanted to, but then I realized I did two ice cream cards already. So maybe I may or may not do this one. But either way, you could probably do it any part of the year, but you know, it's mostly appropriate for summer. Okay, these I know for a fact I'm using. Actually, I'll take them out because there's a layer to it. So yeah, let me take these out. So here's how the die cut look. These I think I am using. So there will be a card making video coming out soon. This is super summery, super cute. These are flip flops and they can be shakers, which made me want to get them because I want to make some shaker flip flops. So how cute is this? I think it's going to be fun when I put the card together. Not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I have ideas. But this is how it looks. Looks really good. And when I say you can bend it and tear it or break it apart, this is what I mean. Like just that. Just in case someone doesn't know. But yeah, how cute is that? That's going to look really good. I hate these bags. These are the ones I hate. I'd rather have like this, you know, but I'll just be careful. If I do rip a bag, I just been honestly putting it in the, um, what is that material called? Actually, I should do that now. We're tossing this. I can't get it out, but I was talking about this. Uh, what I've been doing was if I can't keep it in the bag, I would just put it in one of these cute little gift baggy bags, whatever it's made of. Okay, I know I'm using this one. I'm excited about this one. It's so cute. It is so cute. So this one is, if you can't tell already, it's supposed to be a floaty. And it comes in two sizes, which is even better. So I'm going to probably do a big float and a little float. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to do a card with this. I also can do a planner spread with this. I might think about doing a planner spread. And actually, if you haven't seen it already, I highly encourage you to check out my mini happy planner video where I do do the cover page for August. And it's this cute girl on the flow. It's so cute and adorable. I'm, I'm looking back at it and thinking, dang, I should have did a shaker floaty instead because she's on like some kind of flamingo float or whatever. I'm just talking. But this is really cute. I can't wait to use this. I will be using this. I'm still trying to figure out ideas. But I'm trying to get my summer crafting stuff out the way because it's still summertime because when fall get here honey whoo i love fall fall makes me happy and i'm not even talking about pumpkin spice and all that i just like the weather cooling down the leaves are changing you know it's nice oh this one's cute this one i said i was probably going to do as well this is just a simple seashell and it can be a shaker and these, I don't know if you can see that. It's like little mermaid tails and shells. Those, if you want to add confetti to it, because a shaker doesn't always have to have glitter in it. It can have sprinkles in it. It can have paper in it. It can have whatever it can shake and be moved around. So I might use this and make some extra little embellishments, but I do have a glitter that goes well with this that I'm going to use. I actually, I think I'm making this video this month, so stay tuned for it. All right, I got a couple more left. This one I'll take out so you can see. So as you can see, it's just grass and a fence, but I've been wanting this because I noticed that I do a lot of outdoor spreads. Like I do a lot of maybe someone is sitting at the park or a bee is flying outside, hot air balloon. Like I've been needing this grass. And at first I was using like 3D grass stickers from Michaels, but I don't want to keep paying for that when I can make my own at home. So I got a die cut and I can just use foam tape to make it 3D and it's pretty much the same effect. So I did buy this. It came with this fence, which I think is really cute. So now I have some kind of idea I could do like little suburban house or something. I'm gonna figure it out, but I, I got a lot of ideas. How cute is this? Also, I've been looking into getting into interactive cards lately. So we got this little light post here and I think it'll be cool if I could figure out how to make it light up. So I'm going to research that. But yeah, that's what the die cuts look like. Last but not least, this is from Dress My Craft. I got this on scrapbook.com. And if you don't know, scrapbook.com sells a lot of other brands too. It's probably like Amazon, but for crafters with only like craft brands. But you might can find this on Amazon. I don't see why not. I don't know. Compare prices and I guess whatever works. But for the most part, after researching, 
Amazon tends to have cheaper die cuts, but when you're putting bigger brands like Lawn Fawn and this, it might be more expensive. But die cuts like these, they were like $5, maybe $8 at the most. They're not expensive. So that's what I like about getting them on Amazon versus other craft websites. Craft websites is double the price. You know what I'm saying? I actually like this one because it's pink. Look. I didn't know the die cut blades, whatever these are called, can come in other colors. I thought they were all just metal and silver. So this is pink and it's cute. And I did do a video on my channel and I actually have an example card. And actually one of my subscribers said that's one of their favorite cards that I've created. And I like it too. I really do. But here's the card. Isn't this cute? It's like watermelon ice cream. I don't know if that's a thing or sound good, but I really wanted to use my watermelon glitter. And I thought it was just perfect for this. So this is how my card looks. I think it's adorable. I really like it. And as you see, it could be a shaker. So how cute is this? Oh my God, so adorable. I'm so proud of this card. But this is how it looks. So you kind of have an idea, you know, I'm sorry I don't have all of them, but eventually I will. Like I plan to use all these die cuts eventually. If I don't use it this summer, I'll use it next summer or whenever I feel like it. But I'm ready for fall. I'm in fall mode already. But that's it. Yeah, that's all my summer die cuts. I don't know if I missed any, but this is what it is. <laughs> yeah, actually, I got quite a bit, too. And when I tell y'all, these are not expensive. The only ones that's expensive for sure, these. This was probably like $15. And these were probably like $15.20. A piece yeah these are the only ones that's probably more expensive all the other ones they're cheaper now of course there's probably shipping but i still think you're getting a bang for your buck but yeah these are all the die cuts i have i have so many and i like that i have so many and then i still have my collection in my basket here so that's another thing and i'll be just showing them every season just to show them so in fall sometime I'll show the fall die cuts. I'm still trying to accumulate them because I feel like I don't have a lot. Fall is kind of hard to find. I'm not going to lie. But summer was really easy to find. Spring was really easy to find. Actually, winter was really, really easy to find. Fall, eh. But anyways, that's the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed showing the die cuts. Don't forget to let me know if you see one specifically that you're like, oh, I really want this. Let me know and I'll put the link. I'm going to try to figure out this Amazon storefront thing so that I could just put all of these there and then you could just see it. But y'all going to have to give me a minute. Really, I'm not. I'm tech savvy, but I ain't that damn tech savvy. Okay. I just like enjoying my hobby. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and make sure you subscribe. Bye, guys.